SQL Server 2012 programming. This is Kalman Toth. This is my new book, available on Amazon.com and in your bookstore. Let's uh, consider the topic of uh, copying a table to a different database. So let's copy from AdventureWorks 2012 to AdventureWorks. Right click, Task, Export Data. This is the SSIS Import Export Wizard. Next. This is our data source. And our destination database is, we need a server first. Let's select a server. It's, it's the same server. We can copy to different server as well. And the database is AdventureWorks. Next, we are going to copy a table. The table we are going to copy is sales dot sales order header table but since there is already a table sales dot sales order header on destination we are going to change the name to dbo and test so we are not going to have any conflict. Edit mappings. We just check mappings should be OK because the wizard has all the metadata. We can even edit SQL. This is the create table statement. OK. Preview. Looks good. OK. Next. We have a choice. We can save the SSIS package on SQL Server or on file system for reuse. Next finish. So the package is running. It should be easy and uh, it was easy. Successful. Close. Let's check out the table in AdventureWorks. So here is the table in DBO schema. These are the columns. Keys. Keys were not uh, copied. Constraints were not copied. Triggers were not copied indexes were not copied. So basically the table was created. Right click, select top 1000 and uh, the data was uh, transferred but uh, none of the constraints or indexes were uh, transferred. 
Summary, the SSIS import-export wizard is a very efficient way of uh, transferring tables from one database to another and even from one server to another server. This is the end of a short demo.